cancers i'm sorry for the lateness of the reading but i couldn't come on camera i had some dental work so all righty you cancers let's see what is going on i'm doing this in the sunset <laughs> okay so let's see what is happening for you cancers in this month of october in love because a lot of earth sign, woo, a lot of things are coming up for you. Heart sign, uh, water signs, okay? I want to thank you so much. Please like, share these videos. Go check out the rest of the videos and for the on demand videos. There is 15% of all on demand videos. So, um, um, how, however, you choose for the on demand videos, there are 15% percent of all on demand videos let's see what's coming up for you cancer so we're calling up on the angels of love for the cancers I'm seeing friendship bonds is going to be coming up for you cancers and this is really good with these friendship bonds that are coming up all right so a lot of friendships friendship bonds it could be that you and relationships and you're having all of these friendship bonds that is coming up so that is going to play a part and a role that friendships I'm seeing you meet in friends and uh, um, you you feel compatible with these people comfortable I'm seeing familiarity coming up for you cancers but in relationship that you meet people and you feel as if uh, you have known them for a long time okay friendships and not an intimate relationship or a marriage they're just being you just feel connected to these people okay so let's get in your reading and see what is uh, coming out for you guys so there is uh, some of you having a relationship with uh, um, some of you between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 or of a long distance relationship with a mature man I'm seeing this coming up I'm seeing some of you ladies between the age of 25 and 45 is having friendship bonds with people you have meet it's not going to become um, a relationship it's going to just um, friendship okay so you could meet people you come in contact with people you have feelings it's not going to be friendship bonds the beautiful ladies um, or beautiful people are going to be meeting um, a older person and this person is overseas I am seeing long-term commission I'm seeing some of you are going to be meeting someone via spiritual energies okay I'm seeing some of you are going to be ending up with people who are like lawyers and that sort of a thing so for you older men 45 years and older I'm seeing you traveling overseas and you're meeting up with people between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 I'm seeing the blondes meeting these mature men overseas flying to meet them or they're flying to meet them I see the young beautiful women and men or connecting with people overseas past life loves is definitely coming back in your life I'm seeing friendships uh, um, that you meet someone and you feel a love connection but it's just going to be friendship I'm seeing true love that is coming up with friendship some of you are going to be meeting someone it is a new love and I'm seeing a lot of text message going back and forth a lot of text message going back and forth communicating with this person on a spiritual level you connect on a spiritual level so this is good whatever is happening I'm seeing um, some of you ladies are going to be cutting through the BS in your relationship um, some of you could be connecting with a lawyer a doctor or a pastor and this is coming up okay so let's see what is coming out for you cancers there's a lot that is happening I'm seeing the blonde and red hair people are going to be having friendship bonds with people overseas I'm seeing a spiritual relationship coming in with you beautiful people and this is people from past lifetimes I'm seeing you ladies communicating with a true love 
um, this is you're communicating with a person texting this person because you want to find out more information about this person I'm seeing if you connect you lawyers and doctors and I professional people if you connect with someone is a true love but it's going to last a short time um, you're you deserve love you are loved so you young people um, you really deserve love you are loved whether or not your partner is with you or far away you really deserve love and love is going to be coming in for you young people 18 to 45 healing family issues I'm seeing the mature men are coming in and whoever you're it, some of you mature men or seen a younger person and this is someone you have known in past lifetime they could have been a child to you and you are having an intimate relationship with this person um, um, and you need to forgive your your parents I'm seeing some of you having relationship issues and it it stems from your parents so you have to forgive your parents okay uh, pay attention to the red flags um, so you blonde blue eyes people red hair blonde hair red hair people pay attention to the red flags in a friendship or a relationship pay attention to the red flag you beautiful ladies and gentlemen um, there's a past love that comes back in your life you got to open up to this person you got to make the effort chemistry I am seeing some of you ladies have felt a chemistry with a past love this person came back in your life and it's for a spiritual growth so I'm seeing a lot of text message a lot of communication text message because you're trying to find out if it's worth returning to it's a soulmate it is a soulmate true love this person is your soulmate so um, some of you women are trying to figure out something about a new love or a partner or an ex partner or an ex love that came back in your life because the chemistry is so strong it is your soulmate so check that out now we have religious factor some of you are having issues in your relationship and it's because of religious factor whether you don't believe in pornography or whatever um, you know it is your relationship needs some help and is it's affected by religious factor because I think that some people don't want to share their partners they don't want to do open relationship and because of religious factors because you know uh, as a person because you're a cancer so you're very psychic you you know certain things that being in different different relationship that can break your own and you're going to end a relationship okay on required love some of you are going to be meeting someone this person is on required love you really don't need this person in your life okay this person um, have different different partners and you don't believe in um, the monography of whatever is happening and I'm seeing because of this issue you're going to be ending some of you are de um, if you are spiritual and you're dealing with someone I am seeing that you're considering to end a relationship I'm seeing um, um, sadi sadistic in your relationship and you are going to be ending this okay some of you are dealing with um, secrets um, in a relationship some some of you secrets are in your relationship and the secrets can be um, some of you are going to be finding out something if you're in a long-distance relationship you're going to be finding out something about your relationship I am seeing that you older men 45 years and older is dealing with a woman that is an um, and Aries Lee or Sagittarius I think you're going to be ending this relationship I'm seeing some of you are just going to be um, you know you have met someone you are seeing someone for a while and you're going to see you say just let's be friends the blonde red hair people are definitely going to be working on their red their um, relationships that this is coming up that they're definitely going to be working on their relationships some of you are going to be traveling 
to see um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person um, some of you women are going to be meeting this mature man and you're gonna be ill in whatever that has transpired with you and him in the past I'm seeing a lot of you um, in a relationship there's a lot of chemistry in this relationship but you're going to be heartbroken heartaches is coming up and it has to do with a, 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 a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so um, beautiful ladies or you beautiful ladies are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and there is going to be heartbreak with this person then we have some of you dealing with a Capricorn this Capricorn is going to be investigating and this Capricorn is communicating with you but they they're trying to find out what you're about <laughs> and that's Capricorn <laughs> you are the opposite side to the Capricorn whoever this Capricorn is they're trying to find out what you are up to They're they're texting you they're communicating with you and some of you are dealing with a Capricorn some of you are dealing with a Virgo a Taurus and they're trying to figure you out so they're texting you and communicating with you via text message because they're trying to find out there is chemistry between you both but they're like let me know who this person is some of you are wondering about a Capricorn woman this is really a woman this woman has everything she is independent it is your soulmate it is your soulmate okay so some of you out there you men or women that is connected with a Capricorn because a lot of you are dealing with Capricorn and the Virgos and the Taurus I'm seeing the Taurus the Virgos are coming up a lot of you are dealing with the Taurus the Virgos the Capricorns and I am seeing some of you this is your your soulmate this is your soulmate some of you are meeting this really um, upper class really high class a uh, Capricorn it is uh, your soulmate okay um, magician some of you were right about a relationship your, your your point on this relationship you're right about this relationship so don't question yourself wow some of you are going to be meeting your um, someone but this is a Virgo a Taurus some of you are going to be meeting a Taurus but it's unrequired love um, it's better for you to go with a Capricorn um, this 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 is unrequired love okay all right so be aware of that there's an healing that is coming in and some of you are dealing with an Aquarius um, this Aquarius is coming in as a new love um, let me turn the lights on this, this Aquarius is coming in as new love but it is um, it is not good for you it's not the right person for you okay so you gotta be aware of that it is just not the right person for you this Aquarius that is coming in is unrequired love so um, it could be some of your are dealing with also a Virgo but it's unrequired love that means that this love is not meant for you so whatever is transpiring this love is not meant for you some of you um, you have a feelings that a relationship is for a short time yes it is you ladies between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 there's a lot of secrets in your relationship okay you deserve better love you deserve someone much better some of you are dealing with a Pisces the Pisces could be long distance I am seeing that um, this is a lovable person yeah but you know you're in a long-distance relationship but you deserve real love I'm seeing um, a Virgo that is going to be coming in um, a Virgo that is coming in try and work some of you are in long-distance relationship work on this relationship because it's going to be helping you in the long run just work on this relationship 
some of you are going to be finding out that your husband or your wife is seeing a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman 45 years and older this is someone who he connects with when he goes away on business some of you who are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman there is chemistry but you're going to be heartbroken with this person so it could be you ladies um, that is in a relationship that there is a lot of chemistry but you're going to be heartbroken some of you are dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person it is your soulmate I, it is a um, Taurus it is your soulmate if you're in a relationship with a Taurus is your soulmate yep some of you have had a relationship with a, a, a Capricorn woman for a, a woman or man four to five years and older and you are heartbroken over it but you realize that it was your soulmate now you're understanding that it was your soulmate Some of you are going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, they're in a relationship with a Virgo, and you're going to be heartbroken. And you are not deciding to work on your relationship um, because your heartbreaks. Heartbreak is in the center of this month for you guys, so you got to be careful. Some of your women are going to be heartbroken with a Capricorn person. Um, some of you are going to be heartbroken with a Virgo person where they're going to say, I just want to have a friendship with you. Uh, some of you are definitely going to be heartbroken um, with a, um, a Virgo and a Taurus. Some of you are going to be realizing that you're in a relationship with a Taurus. It feels good, but it's unrequired. Some of you are going to be in a relationship with a Virgo but it's unrequired love because these the, the, the these people that is coming up is like unrequired love some of you um cancers want to connect with an aquarius gemini or libra person is unrequired love that means you know even if the passion is good there is nothing to hold this relationship together there could be um divorces coming up for some of you some of you could decide to religious beliefs to divorce. Some of you, um, yeah, some of you, if you were in, yeah, some of you are going to divorce. Some of you who are deciding to connect with a Gemini, um, it's going to be short term. So if you're deciding to connect with a Gemini, it's don't expect a long term relationship. This is going to be and then whoever is young and is dating someone who is very nice looking that's the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn he is coming up as a Capricorn he or she's coming up as a Capricorn this is a young person between the age of 18 and 45 is your soulmate it is your soulmate Wow but there is a lot of heartbreaks a lot of people you know you you know someone if you're dealing with a Virgo they're going to be coming up and said you know and if you're dealing with an Aries look at the red flags they're red flags if you're dealing with an Aries person there could be chemistry look at the red flags they're going to break your heart so the heartbreak is right by the Aries people whatever whoever is in a relationship with an Aries you're going to be heartbroken there is chemistry but because and it's a spiritual relationship but there are red flags they're going to be breaking your heart these are the areas that is going to break your heart some of you need to make a effort if you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you need to make an effort to work on this relationship okay so it could be an older woman and a younger person or and a younger guy um, make the effort okay it so it says you're thinking okay but this person I'm so older than this person make the efforts because you know you never there is really true love um, yeah the, the, the age and I always say to people yeah 10 years is good 
over 10 years 12 years 13 years now that is pornography child pornography so be aware of this 10 years someone um, younger than you or older than you 10 years is the max ladies and gentlemen if you're dealing with someone 12 um, 11 12 years older that is like nah, it's your thing ladies and gentlemen thank you so much namaste until next time